to shift. I like to think of the meeting of two mirror souls as an existential earthquake, all of a sudden you can sense that an immensely important person has entered your life. All of a sudden you get the overwhelming feeling that your life is going to change in a way you aren't even aware of yet, and yet you intuitively know that the changes will be great, greater than what you've ever experienced, and breathtaking in their magnitude. I know all of this because I am fortunate enough to have met my own twin flame a few years ago, so I have already gone through the fiery, intense and transformative process of meeting my soul's mirror. Although I feel immense gratitude for the gift of connecting with my twin flame, I am happy to say that this blessing is open to everyone. However such a gift is not always received openly or even recognized by us on a conscious level. Sometimes we're at a point in our lives where we are simply not receptive to both ourselves and our twin flame's presence due to stress, overwork, lifestyle habits and negative thought patterns that lead to low self-esteem. For this reason I believe that it's important to identify some of the major twin flame signs that you might experience, or have already experienced, in your lifetime. In the end, the appearance of our mirror soul is always a mystery and can rarely be predicted. So pay attention. Who is your mirror soul? I like to refer to our twin flames as mirror souls because they essentially reflect the deepest needs, desires, dreams and shadow elements of our souls. We will explore this a bit more later on. However before that, I just want to say that our twin flames are not always romantic, and they are not, as is so popularly suggested, necessarily heterosexual connections. In fact, our twin flames may be romantic partners of the same sex or no sex and they can often be platonic friends or even family members who we have known for a long time. Regardless of this, twin flames are most commonly romantic in nature and tend to manifest themselves as people who we can passionately connect with on all levels. Furthermore, it has also been popularly suggested that twin flames stay together for entire lifetimes, but I personally don't believe that this is the case. Connecting deeply with another person doesn't necessarily guarantee that you will stay with them forever, this is dependent on your own level of conscious development and that of your twin flames. Also, in the spiritual community most people suggest that we only have one twin flame in our lifetimes. Such a belief stems from the origins of the concept of twin flames in Plato's The Symposium Dialogue which indicated that humans originally had two faces four arms and four legs. Because of this, humans were once so powerful that they threatened to overpower the gods, so the myth that gods used split them in half. However, it is said that once we discover our other half, again we are filled with a profound sense of wholeness. Whether this explanation of twin flames is outdated or not is up to you to decide. Finally, it is common for us to get really excited about meeting our twin flame. However, Sometimes this jubilation results in romanticized projection, meaning that we paint an idealized image onto another person that might not be returned or welcomed by them resulting in severe disillusionment. Also, when we suffer from low self-esteem and a lack of self-love, it is natural for us to try and find a kind of needy acceptance outside of ourselves, hence the projection, so be careful of infatuation and idolization. Your twin flame is certainly not perfect, just like